I grew up in Oklahoma City and went to Oklahoma State University for undergraduate and also medical school. With an effort to help people, I think it was natural to go into medicine. I think when I was in high school, I found the science interesting and, and it's a perfect venue to, to do something good in the world. I was one of those kids that was always working. I was mowing grass when I, by the time I could push a mower. I think my first real job with a paycheck was at a gas station about a couple of blocks from my home. I was pumping gas and you know washing the windshields and eventually uh, got to the point where I, they let me do oil changes and I worked there through high school. Well, I've just found it interesting. Uh, during medical school, we study neuroscience and the neuro neurological systems of the body, and um, there was uh, a notion that it was sort of the last frontier in medicine. You've got uh, other systems like the heart, it's a muscle, it pumps blood. But the brain is, is, is different in that it, um, there were diseases that we've, we've known about but never really knew why people would uh, contract these illnesses and diseases. There have been new uh, medications for migraine, for example, for stroke, uh, ALS, Parkinson's disease, and it's, uh, it's really been exciting to, to have uh, things to offer patients that we really didn't have before. Well, BJC is uh, just a wonderful hospital system to work for, and I've been on staff at other hospital systems. BJC is just such a welcoming community, and the, the staff and administration it's really refreshing to, to work here and we've been well received and uh, I'm excited about some of the things we're going to do here at St. Peter's and Progress West, particularly with the stroke program. There is a stroke program where Barnes St. Peter's will be a level two center, meaning that we can take patients, give them the clot busting drug and care for them here in the ICU or the general medical floor. Uh, Progress West is going, to, is going to be involved also, where they'll be level three. Um, they in fact have a uh, robot in the emergency room so that a, a stroke victim comes to the, the ER and the doctors down at BJH, Big Barnes, will um, communicate through the robot to the patient, have a nurse or doctor, or ER doctor, do an exam that the, the specialist down, down uh, town will uh, also be able to visualize and and uh, direct care. And then of course if there's a patient that requires uh, uh, even further uh, care for the, the stroke, we can have them uh, flown to Kings Highway, Big Barnes, and the doctors will receive them there and, and, and care for them with uh, some of the latest cutting edge technology that's available in the world. Mm -hmm.